Hi YouTube, um, little project today, or well, starting a project, it's going to take me a bit of time so I have to slot it in around other things, but a uh, colleague at work uh, picked up an axe head um, a while back and uh, we got chatting anyway because I made the knife recently and he wondered if I could hang him a new handle um, for display, this isn't a I mean, you can see the edge on that, it's huge. Um, but this is for hanging on the wall. Um, so obviously you don't want it sharp. Uh, gonna keep it with this kind of mottled effect on it. Um, I get the impression it was obviously a, a Smith made ax head, um, hand forged, but I, don't know, I guess whoever had it originally before the guy at work picked it up, um, decided to grind all that black off and take it back to this silver um, effect which eh, it's okay um, yeah, for displaying it's quite nice um, and what I'm going with is this beautiful chunk of pear um, I've, I've had this for a good couple of years now in the barn um, so it's well seasoned um, it's got a really hard core to it um, so all I need to do really is to, um, yeah, thin it down a little bit, and then and then shape it. But what I'm doing is, it's pretty straight. Um, and chatting with the guy at work, we're going to go with a almost a tomahawk style handle, so a perfectly straight, round grip. And uh, the plan is to do it on the lathe, um, and then I'm going to basically come along with kind of small lines all the way from the head or the head down uh, a little ways and then I'm going to go in a bit take it down and then out again and then try if I can which I should be able to do as I did it on a paddle a while back is to fit a leather grip um, hand stitched grip um, at the base so it should look pretty cool if it works like all of my projects they are a bit fluid they, um, they tend to start off one way and end up completely different to what I planned but we'll see how we go uh, I'm going to open up the barn doors get some more light in here and get cracking I'm not going to film while I'm on the lathe because it goes everywhere and uh, yeah I just it, it's maybe I'll show you some intermediate stages but for now I just need to thin it out We'll get back to you in a bit. Well, YouTube, like I said um, <laughs> at the beginning of this video, the um, all best plans and all that tend to go awry. The piece of wood that I was going to use, um, the pear tree um, log, was really heavily knotted once I took it apart and split it. Uh, so it was unusable, unusable, which is a bit of a shame. But I've got some nice pine here. Um, like I said, this is only for decorative purposes, so... It doesn't have to be, you know, a strong piece of kit. It's purely for putting on the wall. So I think this will do fine. Um, and you see I'm starting to to shape it now. This is the overall length. And then I'm obviously going to finish this in the workshop um, and actually hang it. Um, I need to make a wedge. Um, yeah, all that gubbins. So I will uh, carry on with this um, and get it finished in here and then we'll head over to the workshop oh well guys it's coming on um take it down here you know when it's smooth um when you can that's coming up lovely um so there's the basic shape anyway uh leaving that bit at the bottom um then there's going to be a leather piece in here for the grip this will be just as it is i'm gonna put a couple of lines in it just for some decoration but as it is at the moment that is absolutely smooth and that's only the second grain um i'm not going too heavy i'm starting off with 180 uh, and then i've got this stuff which is 120 and then eventually it'll be finished off with uh p1200 um and that should be plenty smooth it'll have a a dip in the uh, in the old wax and stuff um, boiled linseed first let that soak in for a bit and then finish it off with uh, this beeswax polish with turpentine in it and that'll give it a nice nice sort of hardness and, and nice sheen 
So there you go. I shall carry on. Get back to you. Oh, all right, guys. All right, back in the workshop now. Um, so there's the kind of gist of it. A lovely bit of pine, actually. Got a little knot there that came up quite nice. Uh, there's the lines I was talking about. It's light, it's so harsh. Sorry. Uh, there you go. All done by eye. I don't. It wasn't a, a measured piece. It's just a. Yeah, I like working like that. Kind of just go with the flow. Um, so there's the head. So you can kind of get an idea of the the thing I'm going for. I think it'll look quite nice. So now it's just this piece I need to concentrate on. Um, so obviously you got me hole. Now it isn't a perfect hole, unfortunately. Um, I mean it's pretty good, but it's a little bit rough around the edges. Um, I don't think it's going to matter too much. I just need to decide what I want as the top and the bottom. But um, yeah, it's all right though. I mean, it's a, you know, it's a fairly hefty head on it. Um, but uh, you know, there's no maker's mark or anything. I don't know. I don't know if it was just a practice piece maybe, I don't know, it's been, I don't know, no idea. Anyway, let's get on with the handle and uh, see where we go. Um, so the first thing is to obviously decide how I want this to sit. I want it to sit slightly on the circle, so I want it, the circle, mm -hmm. the cylinder part of the handle, the round piece. I want it to kind of sit just ever so slightly on that. So, I need a pencil. There's probably easy if I come back to you in a little while, guys and girls, and uh, get my watch back on. Today I'm rocking my Orient Ray 2 with my tropical, or the tropical, uh, NATO strap, single pass. Love this thing. Looks absolutely awesome. All right, anyway, let me crack on. I'll get back to in a bit because I need to sort out some stuff. So I'll come back in a little while. All right, guys, well, there's the handle. Kind of roughly done. Got the wedge slot ready. Um, I'm just trying to get this bit to, to fit snug now. Um, but it's going on. It looks pretty cool. Um, now, the one thing to do when you're hanging a, an axe is don't hit there. Um, what you do is you get it on there so it's not going to come off. Take a polycarbonate or rubber mallet like this, quite heavy, hold it and then strike and it will go on um, on its own. And that way you can also kind of gauge it. So if I step back here, so just hold it loosely in your hand and strike. See it's coming, it's going in. I want it to sit slight, slightly proud of the top of the axe, which it does. One more strike, and there we go. So now we're hung on there, it's a good fit. And now I've got to make my wedge and then hammer that down and then uh, give it a final sanding, like tidy up around the edges with a knife and stuff, sandpaper. And uh, it's getting there. So I'll do the wedge and then I'll come back to you. Now, I've gone with a, an antler wedge. Pretty sure this isn't done that often. I need to shape it a bit better, get it more even, but yeah, I think that look quite awesome in the top there. So I'll finish this off quickly and uh, We'll see how we go.
coming on shape. One thing to be, bear in mind if you um, start getting into this kind of thing um, is moose antler stinks. I mean, moose antler stinks when you're working with it, but this particularly stinks. And it's a good idea to be downstairs or outside, would be better. slot has closed slightly which isn't a big deal but um obviously it might make life a little bit awkward right. now it's going to soak the top of the the axe let me turn you around a bit uh, with a bit of linseed boiled linseed oil of the gods in seed oil. Right then, now I've got a wooden mallet and let's try and get this wedge in. Perfect. That, oh it's a little bit short. Um, tissue paper. Uh, it broke the wood out a little bit, it's not the end of the world. There's a go, yeah, and live in there, that looks awesome actually. Been to that. So that's the wax head hung. What do you think? It's quite a nice shape. Yeah, axe head ain't going to come off in any time soon. It's nice and straight ish. It'll do for hanging on a wall. But it's not finished yet. I need to um, finish up the sanding, which I'll do by hand. And uh, yeah, and then we'll get on with the, the linseed oil and the wax. So that will come off camera. How rude. Um, yeah, get, the, get it all oiled up and everything. And then I think I'm going to use some red moose leather that I've got. I've got some left just to make this handle patch here. And then I think we're done. Let's get back to it a bit. Oh, well, there you go guys, it's all hung. Um, <laughs> sanded. Uh, well I did, because obviously I turned this on the lathe. Um, you obviously get a, a hole in one end of the wood and a hole in the other end of the wood. And obviously I've removed that end, but this end I had to do something with. And what I've come up with, which doesn't show up just yet, but once it's got the oil and everything in it, it'll show up. I've done a cross, um, sort of indented using the rasp file for that kind of profile. And then put a little tiny black pin in there. And the reason I did that was, hey, it looks nice, but also it kind of throws back to like the Viking shields, you know, the round shields. I thought that quite kind of cool. Anyway, there you go. Um, all right, next thing to do is give it a quick once over again, make sure there's nothing standing out that I'm not happy with. And then it's to um, yeah, get some oil into it. While the oil is soaking in, I can, um, well, before I do the oil, I need to make this piece uh, of leather and then um, cut that to size and everything and get that prepped while this is soaking. So anyway. I quite like it. Oh, right, guys, well, um, here's the leather. Um, it's all cut to size. And then uh, what we'll do is it'll go round there, like that. Quite pleased with it. I think it'll look nice. I'm going to horse stitch it, um, horse cross stitch, which like, makes it all the way down. I think they look quite cool, kind of old school, and uh, yeah, I think I think it'll look quite nice. Make sure I'll go the right way around again. Let's 
and overlap the holes. So the last hole in the line, we go in again with the tool. They're nice and even. And I'll do the same on the other side. And finally, as, as it's my uh, my make, maker's mark, I go in the middle. around the handle so it's a nice deep imprint. Right guys, start oiling up. Well, I'm pretty happy with that how that's come out. As a, as a one-off idea, um, this looks, yeah, I quite like that. Looks pretty cool. Um, all right, the final thing to do is to obviously make the stitching on the handle, um, which doesn't ever normally take that long. Um, once that's done, I'm then going to coat the handle in this finishing stuff. Um, now this is, um, where does this come from, I can't remember now, uh, CCL traditional English oils and the polishes, um, comes in the UK, um, but it comes in two halves, so you get the, the um, polishing kit, which is basically in two bowls, and one is kind of a, brings the luster out of the wood, and then the second one kind of coats it and hardens it, um, it's really good stuff. So. Um, Really happy with that. Right. I'm going to use, uh, I think we're going to go with white sinew. Now, this is fake sinew, I don't use real stuff. And I'll just pull off a load of that. Because you need two threads for this business, two needles, I mean. And you crisscross like this, and, uh, doesn't normally take very long, but it takes even longer when you can't remember where you put your needles. Well, guys, I'm done. Um, really pleased with it. Um, there's the handle. stitching um, it went on really well I decided not to put a pin uh, a bridging wedge across because I was a bit concerned that if I tried to put any more into the top of this it would split out and it is for purely putting on the wall I mean if you can see that edge I mean it's like maybe four mil thick <laughs> so it's not a cutting tool at all it's tool at all uh, it's purely for decoration. I hope he likes it. Um, it was a real pleasure to make actually. And uh, the leather grip, I think, goes particularly nicely. Um, I do have to just do a final blob of wax using my trusty ancient candle. Sorry about the noise, but my boiler room, you know. So just using a candle. Um, And all I do is get some wax going and just drop it on the last bit of stitching um, and it just kind of seals it all that's it that's all we need to do don't fiddle with it just press done remove the excess if you have any which I do Typical. That's all sealed up, done, finished, job done. 
thanks for watching. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know it wasn't overly informative, but my videos generally are. But it gives you an idea of what I was up to. And one final sweep along. So we've got an antler wedge, uh, which is a little bit unusual, I think. Uh, the axe head, obviously. And then as we move down the shaft, just got some lines for decoration. And then a hand stitch leather thing. And th this came out really well. There you go, the shield on the end. I'm quite pleased with that. Um, yeah. Anyway, there you go. I'll uh, let it get back to your business. Take care. Bye-bye.